Hey church, welcome to this Friday's Hillside update coming to you from Hillside Christian College. They are currently in the middle of their missions picnic and they have been collecting food and donations for Hillside Church Community Outreach this year. I want to tell you that HCCO this week have had our biggest week of um, giving out food since COVID hit. We, we it reached about 70 different families this week and so our, um, our food uh, supplies were hugely diminished. Now, Hillside Christian College have been collecting, their primary school crew have been collecting food and donations for us. And um, this is the culmination of it. I need to show you what they've done. Not only are they having a picnic, but they're putting all of their donations together on a wall of food for us. And you need to see this to believe it. Check this out. There's still heaps and heaps of donations coming in. Um, and we've also got financial contributions coming too. I just wanted to um, show you this um, at, like while we're here so you can see the generosity of the Hillside campus once again. Um, so I'm just blown away, I can't tell you. And there's more and more and more still coming out of classrooms, still being um, donated by students. So um, what a blessing, what timing. That's a huge amount of food. Hey Church, so I'm back in the office now from um, the school. Um, just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of the primary school at Hillside Christian College, um, the deputy principal of high school, Beckmar, and obviously our principal, Steve Lamont, and, and everyone, the whole Hillside community, um, for being so incredibly generous, in addition to all of the food that you saw. Um, they also raised over $250 in cash donations as well. So just an incredible, incredible show of generosity from the Hillside campus. And I, I, I'm so glad that you got to see a little bit of that while I was over there at the uh, Mission Stay picnic for the school. Um, so in addition, we've got a couple of things coming up over the weekend that I'll share with you. Uh, tomorrow from 1 p.m. we have our online preach on our YouTube channel. It's gonna be from me and it's called uh, Living Faithfully, okay? It's gonna be uh, based upon uh, Galatians 5, 1 to 18, okay? So, um, you know where I've been over the last couple of weeks with my preaching and, and what's been on my heart, ironically, is that it, it's always looking at the matters of the heart um, over the last couple of weeks in particular. So I'm going to keep in that vein. And then I'm going to share that same message on Sunday morning from 9.30 a.m. So if you can get to um, the room, if you can be in Forest Field, if you can get down to Hillside from 9.30 a.m. Um, as per usual, great times of prayer, great times of praise and worship um, and I'll be sharing the message with you um, this Sunday uh, in the room as well. Uh, additionally, as you know, we're part of the Pray Together WA Harvest Festival which is ongoing. Um, we're just encouraging all of you to be praying, blessing and obviously believing that we will see a harvest in due course. Now as part of the Harvest Festival Victory Life this year, uh, we've said this a couple of times in the updates but I'll repeat it, Victory Life are not um, running their usual conference um, but they are holding a prayer summit. That's going to take place on Wednesday the 7th and Thursday the 8th of October. You can register for free, okay? All of this is for free. Um, you can register via victorylifecenter.com.au and if you have any problems registering, you can always call the office here and we will uh, assist you with getting you registered for the prayer summit. So we'd love you to be uh, involved in that. And also I wanted to let you know that next weekend, so that's Sunday the 4th of October, Pastor Kerry will be back and we will be baptising people uh, on that Sunday morning uh, in in the church here at Hillside. So if you would like to be baptised, um, there's still time, okay? We'd love to baptise you. 
Um, that's Sunday the 4th of October, 9.30am. Please get in touch via the office if you would like to be baptised. We'd love to do so. With all that said, we hope you've had a, a lovely week and um, I hope you're able to lean into your long weekend for those of you in WA. Enjoy yourselves. Hopefully we'll catch you in the room, but if not, check out the message online. Um, God bless you, church. Take care and we'll see you soon.